So I'm lucky enough to work with some really amazing CEOs. Um, this is Tall Jeff, Tall Jeff Shabansky. He was formerly Chief Operating Officer at Stack Overflow for about 10 years. He built the whole enterprise sales team, the whole enterprise commercial model at Stack. And I've been working with Jeff for about two years now, and I've learned a lot from him. Jeff's very on his third startup now. He's had two exits, plus the exit at Stack as well. Um, and he's working on his next thing, which is Reframe, tech.com. It's a new operating system, a brand new operating system. The future of computing, audacious, big, scary, fantastic thing that he's working on. And I've learned a lot from Jeff. And one of the biggest things I've learned from him is run towards a problem as fast as you can. When he sees a problem, he runs at that problem as fast as he can. Because if you don't, well, you know all what happens when you procrastinate over anything, right? It just gets worse. It just gets more stressful. It just gets harder. Run to problems as fast as you can. Now, easy for me to say, easy for Jeff to say, but it requires a practice, a muscle for you to get there. You've got to practice running at problems. You can't expect to do it from day one because it's hard. It's scary. You're in the fear zone. All of the stuff that I've shared before is relevant here. Another great quote from another CEO. This is what Jeff Bezos says. Jeff Bezos says, stress comes from ignoring the things that you shouldn't be ignoring. Stress comes from the point of view when you're in a business when you're ignoring things, when things are challenging you, stuff's just not sorted out, it's not resolved, stop ignoring, start doing, the stress will disappear. And of course, that's scary. So I'm working with another, uh, another CEO founder, incredible business, grown from almost nowhere to uh, 8 million a year in uh, recurring revenue, fantastic model, no venture backing, nothing. And Fiona, who I was working with at this business, she one Friday just decided, out of curiosity, I'm gonna have a little look into the customer support emails and see what's there. Whoosh, she got a bit of a shock. Things were not being done as the way she wanted them to be doing. The, the culture wasn't working at that point. She pulled up that rock and she found spiders. And that's scary. She said to me, she said, well, I'm really worried now. What happens if I keep pulling up more rocks and finding more spiders? And of course, the stress from just thinking that over the course of the weekend was really big for her. Because you know, this could be across my business here. So we thought about that. Well, if that's going to be stressful and difficult, how can we make this fun? How can we make this enjoyable? That's exactly what we did. We set ourselves the goal of saying, well, how could this be fun? So we made a game. We created a game. And then we called it the spider finding game. Over the course of the week, the whole team from the whole business had to look under every single rock and find a spider. And the person that found the most spiders, the most problems, won a prize. And by the end of that week, everybody was really happy. They'd uncovered so much shit in their business. But everybody was really buoyant about it because it was all out there. There was no blame because it was fun. They created an enjoyable experience from something really bad. So if you're worried that things are going a little wrong in your business, have a spider finding competition. It was a lot of fun.